What's up YouTube? So today is boat show day. We are currently en route and we'll see you there. That car was like camouflaging. Boat show. You ready for the boat show? Woo woo. Yes. What are you most excited about for the boat show? The pina colada. <laughs> The pina colada. So I had a pina colada anyway. last year in the boat show, and it was probably the best pina colada I've ever had in my life. She says no, that about every single pina colada. No, no, the Bahama Breeze pina colada is really good, but but that one was really good. Yeah. Yeah. So the pina colada is like one of the pit stops at the boat show. Yes, definitely. So definitely looking forward to the pina colada. <laughs> So we just made it to the boat show. We just valeted the Tahoe right now. And we ended up paying for the most expensive valet parking of our lives at $125. But we're here now and we're we moving. Or? I think it's right here. Little... You wanna ask? How far is it to the show? Is it a far it's, walk? It's a, little, it's a little bit of a walk, but you can we get a ride with those, with those guys right, right there. They'll give you okay. a free ride over there. So we're almost here, almost. We're parked. But we're not at the show yet. No, not yet. Alright you guys, so we are here. We finally made it to the boat show 2017 Miami. Here we're ready to hit it. We're gonna hit all the tents, check it all out. Super excited to see what's new for 2017. We're gonna bring you guys along. Get ready. It's a largemouth bass, no? It's trying to catch. Let me go. Take it easy. That's it. That rule's not going anywhere. I'll take me on no end. Okay? Yes. Yes. There you go. Thank you. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? So Yasmin is taking her shot at the progressive uh, virtual fishing challenge here at the 2017 boat show. She just got a largemouth bass to take a bite out of it. So there she goes. Let's see if she's learned anything from my videos. It's got to be a 10 pounder. <laughs> you think she's going to land that fish? I don't know. She doesn't come out and fish often enough, so. <laughs> I'm like breaking a sweat here. <laughs> A three, three pounder, yeah. good job. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Somebody down here is watching. Yeah, that. yeah, I have a, a channel too, but I do uh, bass fishing, saltwater fishing too. Oh yeah. But it's uh just pretty much down here in South Florida. Cool. We got the snakeheads down here. We got the snakeheads. That's what I'm gonna come up and try to do a show. Come down and try to do a show. Yeah, somebody. that'd be cool. It's yeah. awesome. They're those guys. They hit pretty much anything on top water. That's what I heard. Little top water frog just rolled down the bank line and. I was I was doing a Dick Strand opening in Fort Lauderdale last year, and I had a dude bring me some fillets. Really. Awesome. I heard that they're really they're good. Delicious. I caught a, a six pounder. I think it was last year. When was it that I went fishing with Daniel up there? For what, the snakehead? The snakehead. Yeah, it was last year. Last year. We went last year, like in October. Yeah. And I caught a six pounder. My buddy caught a seven pounder. They fight. Yeah, they're big. Really hard. They felt like a snake or like a. It felt like like a saltwater fish. A ribbon fish. You know, you just, ever caught a ribbon fish? I've never caught a ribbon. They like fish. swim backwards. They swim backwards. Yeah. These things are just insane. You just the explosion that you get out of the water. It's like like a huge peacock bass. Cool. You, know, you catch like a 10 pound peacock bass the way it blows up. But but it's definitely worth it. You'll have a great time going out there for them. I just want to eat them. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> you want to eat them? Oh yeah. Yeah. They, they taste whatever kind of seasoning you put on them. They're just such a bland fish. Whatever seasoning you put on them, it really comes out good. Really? The meat's white as that. Really? It's not whiter. Yeah, we released ours, but but I heard, I read online that people eat them. They, enjoy them. Take, like, they take home like 10 or 12 of them at a time. Because yeah. it's unlimited. You know, the FWC wants them to get. Well, yeah, they say when you catch them, you're not even supposed to throw them back in the water. It's just let, let the birds eat them. Yeah. yeah but, you know, you're throwing that in somebody's backyard, then they got to deal with the smell for days, and you know. yeah, then they scream at you for fishing. the new boat is. seen this one before. Or is it? Oh no, yeah, this is the 184. Yeah, they've been selling something for this for a while.
right, so we're walking over to the Mako tent to see the brand new 414. If it's here, hopefully it's not on the water so we can get a look at it. It's brand new for 2017. It's the biggest boat they've ever built. That's the 334, that's the one they unreeled the year before. That's a bad boy right there. Has three 350 horsepower Mercuries on it. Alright, so you guys are about to see the brand new Acura NSX. Sick looking car. Been waiting to see one of these in person. Thing looks so freaking fresh. So we just finished walking tents A, B, C, and we walked out on the docks. They got boats on the water that you could take out for a sea trial. And it's a little hot here today. It started off nice and cool in the morning, but it's gotten our, to our regular Miami type temperature. We're burning hot, so it's time to get a drink. We're gonna hit the Heineken tent and keep cruising along this boat show. You ready for a drink? Yes. Which gonna look for a pina colada. The flare. Yeah, they're fast. Check out these sacks, guys. They look like kayaks, but they're like little bean bags type deal. It's pretty awesome. All right, so now is the uh, the moment everybody's been waiting for. Is it as good as last year? It's good. Twelve dollar pina colada better be as good as last year. It's really good. Okay. It's like, it's like being on a, like a raft that doesn't have enough air. You're like, whoa. Yeah, all you need is a pina colada now. There you go. <laughs> this is paradise right now. Chilling in this little air sack. Drinking a pina colada. Oh. <laughs> you don't gotta throw yourself that hard. <laughs> I feel like they're sinking down. Yeah, you sink down. I need a bendy straw for this. Right, guys so we are heading out for the day finished at the boat show thank you guys for watching thank you for subscribing we'll see you guys next time on bite the bait fishing pretty much wrapped up our day at the boat show we uh, got stuck in about 40 minutes of traffic and we're still nowhere near the house we spent all of our money on valet parking <laughs> and the tickets into the boat show and two alcoholic beverages so unfortunately for lunch we had to resort to Taco Bell. <laughs> some Taco Bell. So, I'm gonna eat some Taco Bell and then get on the next leg of our journey down south to head home. I think that's mine. Yeah, it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate you guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and that like button for us. Peace.
good? Well, not good. <laughs>